Hello everybody, I'm Yvette of Uniquely Yvette. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. This week we're going to be doing a Christmas project on the scroll saw. I'm sure you can figure out what this is or I hope you can. Well, at least I hope you can figure it out by the end of the video. <laughs> These are Grinch hands and they are shaping a little heart. And in the middle we have Mark, that's the, my husband's name. So we have that on there and I'm going to use this carbon paper to trace it onto my wood piece. And I have some scrap wood here. This piece I've um, planed down to, well, as thin as I can make it on my uh, planer. I think it's probably, well, it's less than a quarter of an inch. I think it's probably a little bigger than an eighth of an inch thick. Less than a quarter, thicker than one eighth. However you decide to do it but anyway we're going to have on here uh, about three layers because we're going to have a back layer that's going to be this out this outermost part that's going to be back area there's going to be the more detailed part his hands and the his sleeves and the cuffs that's going to be the second layer and then the top layer will be mark's name Oh, and the, the heart in the middle is going to be the same layer as the hands. So that's three layers. And I'm going to trace it on this piece of wood, which I've already done. Presto change <laughs> I'll trace it all on here, hoping, hoping I can get it cut out good. See, there are gaps right here. I don't know if you can see it. There are gaps here between his wrists and the cuff and then between his sleeve these are going to be in pieces i think so that the layer behind it this layer can be seen through it'll sort of like a border a black border around the entire thing now of course if you made this project you could instead of doing three layers you could do two layers do a layer this layer as one whole piece and then use like black paint or black paint pen and then trace around the edges. This is all very small. I think it's about five inches wide and three inches tall, about that. And so let's move over to the scroll saw and get this piece cut out. So the piece of the M broke off for a mark when I was trying to cut it and I think that's just not going to work. I don't like it that small. Ugh. I'm going to sand these pieces and then paint them and see what I do about the name. I don't know yet. All right, y'all. None of this is going to be an exact science. After I sanded everything, I realized that this piece is not going to be the same shape exactly as when I layer on all these other pieces. It's just not going to be the same. I mean, it wasn't the same after I finished cutting it. It definitely not is not going to be the same after I sanded it. So we are just make it work. Also, I, I forgot that what I should have done is put a design right here on the template so that I could punch a hole through here and run a string for this piece to be hung up, for this ornament to be hung up. But I forgot that, so I don't know how it would hang up. But if this is something you would like to do, I would suggest making a little hole right there in your whole design so that you could run a string through it. Okay, the paint is now dry and I'm going to start gluing this piece together. I'm going to be using this Elmer's clear glue because I love it. 
It also allows me to maneuver these pieces and move them around because, like I said, everything is not going to fit together perfectly, especially these pieces. They are not going to fit exactly right, so I'll do the best I can. We're going to start with the hands because they're the most important, I think, to get together as far as getting these fingers right and not squeezing out the heart. And I'm going to try to not overdo the glue. I can't seem to not overdo the glue. So I'm trying to get these fingers in here. One of the hands really doesn't fit well. Now the next thing to do is to make sure the heart can fit in there. So we'll glue that in. And then the rest of it can fit in where it can. <laughs> the best way it can. Okay, the heart is cool. Alright, let's just mess around with this. I'm just going to do that. It's just not going to get on there right. This will be like this. That's that's okay. So I'm just going to leave them on like that and I'd rather them fit on the fingers than anywhere, anything else. Okay, I know you can't see it, but I made a little piece of wood to uh, glue to the top of this piece so that it could make a hole so I could hang um, a piece of thread through it and hang it. Um, it's not dry yet, so I have this piece of tape on it, so I'll show you when that all dries. But what I want to do is make a, a piece of twine that I would um, run through that hole. So I have this twine here. I think I maybe got it from Walmart a long time ago. I don't know for sure. But I'm cutting off a piece of it and I'm going to actually paint it red because I want a red and white twine. I, or at the very least, I want a red twine instead of just instead of white. What I really want is like a candy cane striped one, red and white, like the inspirational piece, and just twist it around like this. So my first step is to paint this strip red and let it completely dry because if it doesn't dry, it's going to bleed. So I'll do that and then I'll show you when I'm done. Really what I, what I think I will do is pour some of this red apple paint into a cup and then swish the piece of string inside it. I'm going to shove that in there. Then pull it out and let it dry. Anyway, you, you get the gist of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. So there we go. There's the string. You have to do what you have to do to get things done. So there it is. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll be moving on to how I combine it with the white string. Y'all, I tried every trick in the book every time. I tried over and over to make this name on a piece of wood. I tried even some cardboard. I tried to do it on my Cricut. That turned out terrible. I don't know if you can see that, but it just chewed up all... I have three hours waiting for this to cut out, and it didn't cut out. This A broke off. This M broke off. The M broke off again. This shredded cardboard. I'm just... I'm done with trying to do that. But let's move on to the rope here. The red paint is all dry now. I've got another piece of twine, the original one, white one. And I'm going to just put a piece of tape on the end of it to hold it while I twist it. Let's start with this one since it's unraveled. So we'll tape the two ends together like that. And then I'm just going to twist them. Twist, twist, twist. I'm going to tape the other end. And then I'm going to try to knot it. Run it through the hole here. And if you can see the hole, the hole's there. It's a little off-centered, but it'll be okay. <laughs> now I'm going to put it through the hole. like that i had a bit of a challenge getting this twine on but i think if you do it you do better to make the string longer to so you can properly knot it i can't knot it very well i just glued the the ends together it's not as twined as i would have liked it to be but if you have some kind of red and white string that would work great or just red Okay, y'all, this, this is going to be either a disaster or I don't know what. I couldn't get the template to go in there very well, so we'll see what happens. I 
think that kind of ruins it. <laughs> I really do think that kind of ruins it. Okay, y'all, here's the final piece. Like I said, I messed up the name so many times. I finally had to just let it go. It's just too small for me not to break it. Maybe you, if you did something like this, you could be more delicate with your wood, handle it where you don't break it, but I just broke it over and over. And I don't know, it's probably a matter of my patience and my rough hands, I don't know. <laughs> you can make this as a gift for someone. I think it's pretty cute. It's easily recognizable as the Grinch hands with his little heart. And I painted the back black, though it doesn't matter. You know, it's going to be like, say you hung this on your tree. But this is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please give me a comment below and let me know what you think. I hope you like this project. I hope it inspires you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.